growing up, I feel like I was brought up in a real good household. My, my parents taught me that to respect everybody, you know, just be as humble as you can. And being humble is a pretty big thing out here. You can't get too big headed or anything like that. I think it's good to stay friends with everybody and just be humble about what you do. Something about the big situations, it, it makes me have a sense of calmness, I think. It's almost like you're more nervous than you usually would be, but I feel like a little bit of nerves is, are good, and sometimes it, the smaller stuff, you just get a little bit too relaxed and you make simple mistakes, but I like being at the big stuff, it, the environment, the crowd, and knowing that you're open for a lot of money, it, 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 makes, it makes it worthwhile for me just for those moments. To be a rodeo cowboy to me means means the whole. I mean, means everything. I mean, that's what I've dreamed about doing since I could remember as young as I could be. I, I always wanted to rope, and I would I would sit up late at night every night on school nights waiting for the NFR to come on because I was on the East Coast. I'd stay up all night, not get no sleep hardly, and that's what I thought about all year, just waiting for the NFR to come on. I dreamed about it. The first time that I backed in the box at the NFR, I was. That uh, was pretty special for me, and I think the moment it finally hit me is when we did the victory lap. Come home and butt through there, and there's all the people you know, seen it on TV, but it was just, it's pretty incredible that feeling I had. I, I kind of think you create your own luck, but I don't know, there's definitely some, there's a there's a small factor of drawing that, that goes into it, you know, I mean, you can't help some things if your steer stops or something like that, but. I think when it comes to winning the world championship, you, you create your own luck throughout the year. I mean, you're going to have enough chances to, to win enough to be the world champ. I do the fantasy team every year, and you know, it's hard to beat Sage Kinsey, Haley Kinzel, uh, Tyler Wagspack. It's hard to not put those guys on your team. They, they win every time, year in, year out. They, I guess I'm going to have to go with myself and the team rope, me and Travis. That's the one we're betting on in the arena, so I might as well bet on them outside the arena.